and welcome to a special Halloween edition of Cooking with Roland. Today we are making three Halloween treats. Sunflower seed butter and chocolate chip cups, mini caramel apples, and frozen banana mummies. The ingredients for today's meals are raw almonds, chocolate chips, raw cocoa powder, organic stevia, natural red food coloring, bananas, green apples, coconut, shredded coconut, raw local honey, maple syrup, baking soda, sunflower seed butter, pure vanilla, coconut oil, and we will also be using a melon scooper, a mixer, baking cups, an empty egg carton, and skewers and toothpicks. The first treat that we're making today is sunflower seed and chocolate cups. The ingredients are raw almonds, raw cocoa powder, organic stevia, coconut oil, sunflower seed butter, and pure vanilla. And we also need baking cups, two, two mixing bowls, and measuring spoons. The first step to this treat is to put the raw almonds into a food processor and decapitate them into tiny bits. Keep it on for about however long it takes. One second. After you have ground your almonds up, they should look like this. Remember, we're gonna save about half of them for our caramel apples. I've lined the pan with paper cups, and now that our almonds are ground, we're gonna put two tablespoons of um, melted coconut oil into a small cup. There's one, there's two, now, I'm going to do one tablespoon of vanilla. That's about right. Um, and two tablespoons of organic sunflower seed butter. one. There's two. Now we're going to mix it up until it's all mixed together, which might take a minute. We've mixed it up and it, I've mixed it up and it looks kind of like this. It looks about like this. So we're going to put a little in each cup might be sticky, so keep it in there. And do every cup like this. Now that we've put the bottom layer on all of these cups, we're gonna put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. Now we're gonna start with the chocolate mixture. The first step is to put a quarter cup of sunflower seed butter in. Might need a little bit of help with that. And then just a little bit more. And now we're gonna put a tablespoon of vanilla in there. Two tablespoons of Melted coconut oil. One, two. I've added a quarter cup of cocoa powder 
And now it's time to add eight to 10 drops of stevia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna stir the mixture. Might take a little bit. And it's about done, right? And that's what you look like about when it's done. I took these out of the freezer and actually almost frozen. So now what we're gonna do is add the chocolate mixture in here to each cup. Where's one? Here's the first one. Now that we have put the chocolate filling on top, like this, we're going to put it in the freezer for another 10 minutes. Now we're gonna make a dairy-free caramel treat that we're gonna use on our apples and our bananas with baking soda, honey, and maple syrup. First step to the caramel is to add a half a cup of maple syrup to a medium heat pan, about a six or a seven. Don't worry if it turns yellow. And another half a cup of honey. And actually it kind of looks like a witch's cauldron now. If you get if you can look at if you look in here, it kind of looks like a witch's cauldron. Stir it till the bubbles start forming, right like here, then turn it down to about a four or five. Now you'll have to continuously stir this for 10 minutes to keep it from burning. I've been stirring it for about 10 minutes now and then we're gonna take it off the burner and we're gonna put some baking soda in here and this is actually quite cool what it does. It's actually kind of funny because it looks like a caramel whipped cream as you can kind of see here. You could also like just take it off right now and use it as caramel whipped cream. Now that the caramel sauce is cooling down, we're gonna start on our mini caramel apples. We're gonna use a melon bowler to dig in as deep as we can and then pull it out and it should look like this. If you want, you can take this little skin off, but you can do that later too and you can always just take all the skin off too. I'm gonna do a few of these now and we'll see how they look. It's actually really fun. <laughs> Now, this is kind of what the apples look like when you're done with them. And actually, this one has a bit of side on it, so I'll cut that off real quick. And that onto the side. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, the way we do this is, there should be some skin, you don't have to cut that off. And then you put this in here, put it in the caramel real quick. You wanna dip it in the caramel. I almost just got burnt a second ago. Let it sit like that for a second. Don't burn yourself again. And if you want to dip it in nuts, this one I'm gonna. And that's what they look like. We're good. And now I'm gonna show you how to do them without nuts, which is pretty much the same thing without nuts. Got the nut part in it. Kind of look like acorns, if you can see what I mean. Then, oh, then you're gonna do the rest with all these. Don't put the one, if you don't have nuts on your caramel apple or any other kind of condiment, don't put it on a plate, put it on parchment paper so it's easier to take off. I'm gonna try one. Wow, this is amazing. Now that we've finished our sunflower seed butter and chocolate with raw almonds on the top cups and our caramelized apples, 
we're gonna do mummies on skewers. It's made with bananas and coconuts. So we're gonna put the skewers in an empty milk egg carton. Egg, it's an egg carton, people. Now we're gonna cut two sweet bananas into about one to two inch pieces. Once the bananas are cut, we're gonna put them in the freezer until they're half frozen about. Now that we have most of our bananas on the skewers, I'm gonna mix some coconut. with some red food coloring. I'm using natural red food coloring now. It doesn't smell amazing. It looks like blood. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. Getting into a nice kind of purpley color. Now that we have our bananas on the skewer and it's colored, and some of it's not though, the coconut. We're gonna drizzle some caramel on it. I put some of the plastic wrap on the bottom so it's an easy cleanup. And then we're just gonna do this for a few minutes. Get it on really good so the eyes can get and stay on and everything and it actually looks really funny. So I'm right. Okay, now we're going to put the eyes on them. Put some of this on there. Kind of, this one's kind of dry, so I'm gonna do these. And then we're just gonna put eyes on all of them. Ah, but this is amazing. This is great. Well, that's it in my video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. See you next time on Cooking with Roland. <laughs> okay, we'll just take it from that scene because this thing isn't working now. edition of season one episode five of cooking with Roland today we're going to, we have a special day coming up Halloween we have to do that again it's very hard to hear you we might be the This is better than the one at the store. This is amazing. Oh my god.
This is amazing. Wait, none to they sleep again. Why? Can we change this one's tiny? Yeah. It's minuscule, minuscule background music. Minuscule, it's minuscule, sexy minuscule. 